Hi Pisces, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, ooh throwing them all over the place i would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so let's have a look see let's have a look see what the week ahead has in store for you my dear fishies and this week you get the strength card. Strength card has been very active for this position. I think it's come up for like three or four signs this week. So again, delving into your heart of hearts. It looks like this week, my dear Pisces, you may have to face something. This might be a moment where you finally have to fess up or face up. This is a moment that may very well require you to be really present. It might require you to have a lot of strength or to delve into your inner courage. Now, these are not necessarily things that people associate with Pisces, but I I feel you know i feel like the water signs get a lot of, of a bad rap when it comes to being strong because their strength isn't necessarily overt and it's not necessarily in your face it's just it's kind of like silent and for you guys it is silent it's a silent uh, energy that kind of is just there you know like this ability to accept people don't necessarily see it as a strength but it really is for you guys it's a source of strength and also a source of wisdom you know this ability to just kind of go with what is and accept it so that you can work your way around it or through it however the strength card is telling me that this week there may be a difficult conversation that you need to have it might be a difficult emotional experience that you'll need to have and this week you are going to have to show up it's going to ask you or rather it's going to require of you to be present all right let's give it some context to flesh it out Ooh this week you get the emperor right so this is i mean as a direction card your emperor is all about you choosing to uh, to be the own author to be the authority in your own life or also uh, it can be about you choosing to stand up in some way this is about you making a very tough decision sometimes the emperor card sees you going out on a limb sometimes it sees you doing something that is completely uh, outside of either what you're known for or outside of what you consider your own remit your emperor card is also uh, the institutions but also the authorities in general so this is a really interesting card for you guys coupled with the strength card this could be you having a difficult conversation with a boss it could be you having a difficult conversation with a parent uh, maybe a difficult conversation around a parent and it could be something to do with uh, you know an association of some sort to um, not necessarily because governing bodies and stuff is like your, the hierophant card but this looks like some smaller institution that you are tied to. It looks like you could be having a conversation with somebody from that. It also tells me that some of you may very well this week be trickling trickling off back to work in some way, shape or form. The thing is, the emperor is always about things that are, you know, it's about your commitment for sure, but it's also because it's ruled by Aries. It's, it tends to be things that are pioneering or tends to be things that haven't necessarily been done before. So you know it does look like you're about to be embarking on some new kind of adventure which is not necessarily a bad thing because as you guys know I've always said Pisceans are they're some of the original uh, adventurers as far as I'm concerned because um, when I was uh, in secondary school my best friend was a Pisces and she would just you could take her anywhere she'd just be like yeah that's cool let's go like she was always up for a new experience or a, a different energy um you know or going to check out things that were you know weird wonderful and quirky so 
it it does kind of seem like this week you might be out of your comfort zone but it does look like you are rising to the occasion your insight card is the king of pentacles so yeah this is definitely in relation to your work in relation to your professional life it does look like you are converse convert conversating <laughs> it does look like you are conversing with either a boss or somebody that is in a relative position of power in your life this could have something to do with your work or your home it does look like you've got this kind of energy lingering about and like i said because you've got the strength card there it means that some part of you is going to have to respond some part of you is going to have to show up now your king of pentacles can also be about money and finances it can also be about where things come to fruition or where things change uh, so you know for a lot of you on those fronts it does look like things are about to evolve in some way shape or form which is really nice uh, i can say this for you i don't see any issues with your money which is great with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care, and I'll see you soon.